Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. This is a reminder video for my Australian and New Zealand subscribers. I am giving away a $50 mail postage blessing for a Boggy Creek blanket to be sent to the USA to my Australian or New Zealand subscribers. One $50 blessing. Now, so far, I've only received one entry in this $50 blessing giveaway and it's the 1st of October so I'm going to extend it to the 6th of October if you have a blanket that you would like to send to the USA to the Boggy Creek Blanket Brigade and the mail cost is a little beyond you well you could enter and win this $50 prize that I'm giving away it's just a mail blessing I really want them to help them reach their 2025 blankets in 2025. So all you have to do is make sure you watch the video where I launched it. I'll put it up here. It tells you all the rules. But basically you have to post a picture on the Facebook group if you belong or on Instagram or email me a picture. Look, if I don't receive any more by... The 6th of October, the one person will win the $50 prize to mail their blanket. It's sort of like a, a pinky swear you will do it. You will send your blanket once I send you the money. You will need a PayPal account for me to deposit the money. So don't forget, get making your blankets. For me, yes, I am back home in Australia. I've got a lot of catch up videos I have to do. Um, a few things went awry when we traveled Central um, Europe, but I'll touch on those in other videos. However, I did finish almost my traveling project, the V-stitch blanket, but I have run out of yarn to finish the border. Now this is Premier um, DK yarn in the color Hummingbird, and I have done some research. I really can't get it in Australia. So I have to come up with some idea on how I will finish my border so I reach the size. But I did finish that and bring it back home with me. It's almost to the size. I just need to make sure I put a border on it. And whether I send this one to Boggy Creek or not will depend on how it looks when I finish. I've also, during my travels, which is a lot of flying time in downtown at airports and on trains, I kept up with my luck of the draw. I have finished week six, which is the pink. Week five was the purple. So I think the last time I showed you this might have been down here. You may have seen a few Instagram photos of me doing it at airports and on trains. But yes, this is coming along nice. It's lovely and bright and so easy to do. So it doesn't take long to whip up a blanket to the sizes required for Boggy Creek. So make sure you check out the other video. And if you want to enter, because you'd like to make a blanket, but, you know, mail costs are really expensive, then enter. That's all there is to it. Guys, I know it's a really quick video, but um, we've only been home a day or so and I have to get some more rest because I start work back at work tomorrow. I have heaps of videos and stuff I want to share with you from the trip. And I also want to thank everybody because I have exceeded 2,000 subscribers. I think I'm about 235 or something. 2,035 subscribers. And I did say I will do a giveaway once I had surpassed the 2,000 mark. And I did collect some things on my holiday from overseas to put into a mystery prize giveaway. So stay tuned for that video. Let me know in the comments below if you're making Boggy Creek blankets, even if you're in the USA and don't qualify for my mail blessing. Um, yeah. And leave a comment suggesting other patterns that you could do for blankets. I do know that there are set sizes like 40 inches by, um, you could do 40 by 40 or something like that. I'm a little vague, jet lag. But yes. It's always interesting to see other patterns and trying something new. So there you go. I'm back in Australia. I'm back home a little tired. But there, I've had a lot of fun and saw a lot of things. 
and bought a little yarn. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video when I bring you some updates on our travels and what went wrong or not so much wrong but caused a bit of stress. Okay, bye for now. Make sure you take care and stay well.